Cafe X. Big round of applause for Cafe X. Okay. Oh, this is a big hit. Ready? Okay. Right, um, can you guys place some orders on the machine? Yeah. So, hi everyone. My name is Henry. This is my co founder, Jack, and we are from Cafe X. So, this is the problem we are trying to solve. There's millions of people doing this every single morning, waiting outside a coffee shop 10 or 15 minutes. Um, and it just, in general, really sucks. So, we've created this uh, fully automated robotic cafe. There's one here, and there's also one in the demo hall that uh, I'd love if you can go give it a shot and try it out. But what we do is it creates, it's a hyper efficient premium coffee experience. So this is uh, a video that's showing how everything works. Uh, so there's an app you can get for iPhone and for Android. And you order a drink, select different coffee beans, you can customize it. And you can tell us when you are coming to pick it up. So then the machine will start making it before you get there. So it starts making multiple drinks and starts putting it inside the machine um, so that when you arrive, it's just a 10 second pickup experience. <laughs> so there's three of these pickup points that you can go to. Uh, you'll get a four digit pin that shows up on the app. You go to any of the delivery bays, pick up your drink, and this now takes about 10 or 15 seconds. So so essentially, it's 60 times faster rather than 10 minutes, 10 seconds. Uh, multiple delivery bays. It's quite small, about 50 square feet. Um, and uh, uh, it's open 24 hours because it's fully automated. So you can customize your drinks. And the goal is to work with local coffee roasters in every market. Um, so in, in the Bay Area, we're working with supersonic coffee roasters. Um, and they actually help us create the, the recipes. So another key technology is called arrival detection. So the goal for this is so that um, it's a bunch of things that happen in the background, but when you get to the machine, the drink is there waiting for you to pick up. So the, the main data point that we're using is uh, Bluetooth proximity beacons. And always trying to improve the coffee quality. Um, it's fully <coughs> automated, so it can replicate the same quality every single time, but we still want to improve that recipe calibration. So after you pick up your drink, you have to rate the drink uh, from one to five stars. The current business model is to own and operate the machines. We are looking at possibly franchising. And for daily operations, it takes about half an hour to clean it out, refill supplies, and get it back online. And uh, we'd like to share revenue with the locations that let us install the machine. Ultimate goal is to have this in every single office building lobby. It's really the ultimate uh, amenity for a building. For unit economics, it costs us about $50,000 to make, although it's coming down. Uh, if we sell 250 drinks per day, it pays for itself in less than three months. And comparing the revenue per square foot of some of the best players out there today, uh, it's pretty good for Cafe X as well. So the long-term goal of the company is to increase the productivity of humans in service. Um, so just like switchboard operators or uh, you know, change to doing other things, we think standing behind the counter, pressing buttons on machines and pouring things into cups uh, will probably evolve, evolve into something else for the future. Um, so this is the machine that's in the demo hall, and if you have time over the next few days, please go ahead and uh, go over there and try it out. So that's Cafe X. Thank you. Feedback for Cafe X, who has feedback for the end of hipster baristas. Maybe uh, just one qual one qualifying question. Um, we were investors in Rethink Robotics, and and which can make a uh, Keurig coffee, uh, but it's quite slow. It's almost like a ninety-year-old year old is sort of making you the coffee. Like an old Did hipster. I, what's that? It's an old hipster. An old hipster. That's right. <laughs> it, did you say it's sixty times faster than a barista if I put your machine next to a barista? Well, it's, it's sixty times faster because the time you spend on site is ten seconds because you're just picking up the drink. The machine actually takes about 45 seconds to make your drink. You don't want to rush actually making the coffee because that directly impacts the quality. Um, so it does take about 45 seconds to a minute to make a drink, but. And how does that compare to a barista? I would say it's probably about the same. About the same. Maybe a little bit faster. 
Because what we're comparing with is uh, when you go to a coffee shop, you wait in line, you know, order your drink, pay, and then wait in another line to wait for the barista to make a coffee. And from our research and the data we collected, that, that procedure takes around 10 to 15 minutes. So that's the data point we're comparing to. But if people like their coffee fresh, then how, does that, how do you yeah. resolve that in the value proposition? So um, part of the benefit of being a fully automated system is that every drink that's been made is on a, is on a timer. So if it exceeds about six minutes, we'll throw it away, you'll get notified, and then you can just order again. And it doesn't charge you, most importantly. So yeah, if you're course. late and you stop and you get a phone call on your way to the machine, it throws your coffee away and makes you a fresh one. Yeah, the first few times it won't charge you at all. We'll credit you back. <laughs> oh, so it's sort of like Uber. If you keep canceling your ride, your rating goes down and no more shenanigans? No, no more coffee for you. Yeah. <laughs> so. I tried it earlier and loved it, but I was a little disappointed that it didn't have other uh, types of alternative milk. So um, what are your plans to offer soy, almond, rice? Yeah, yeah. The, the, the machine itself currently can do up to four different kinds of milk. It really just depends on how we configure it. Um, so uh, when we you know, installed the machine before, uh, we've done two different kinds of milk. So we can certainly you know, go anywhere from one to four milks, uh, depending on the demand. In San Francisco, you need seven. <laughs> so you're going to need to change yeah. that machine well, a little bit. If you in LA, uh, macadamia nut milk, you may lose some customers. <laughs> um, I, I think, I, I guess I have a question about the branding of coffee. I know that heavy coffee drinkers are very true to their brands, be it pizza or Starbucks. Or, uh, and so can you talk about about the market and uh, generic, I don't know if it's generic coffee versus branding? Um, well, at least for, just from our perspective, we think it's a good opportunity to, to start a new brand, just because the user experience is, is super unique. Um, and just from the feedback this morning, we, I think we did over 100 orders uh, in a few hours, and um, uh, people seem to like it. So, I think it's a terrible answer. You, you actually have four different types of beans, and you're sourcing from the local roasters. So isn't your hope that you'll put Stumptown, or Blue Bottle, or Phil's, or yeah. Dunkin' Donuts, and you'll have a choice of which brand you want? Isn't that yeah, the value we'll prop? The local. Yeah, so in addition to Cafe X brand. <laughs> <laughs> thank, thank you, Jason. I can, only, I can only put them on stage. I can't. So. What is the uh, what is the maintenance frequency and how you know how often does it need to be cleaned? Do you have to send someone around every night? What is your yeah? Uh, so there's fresh milk inside, so uh, it needs to be cleaned every 24 hours. Uh, we're going to send someone there. It's going to take about half an hour per per, per per machine. You also need to feed the person in the booth. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, Doing this as an owned and operated business versus a franchise business is they're just dramatically different things. You know, they're different capital requirements, they're different management and sales styles. How are you gonna make that decision? Mm. We're in the middle of figuring that, that out right now. <laughs> um, but uh, I think that's just a happy problem that people want it and we just have to figure out how to sell it. I think especially on the branding perspective, uh, when we own and operate our own machine, we can make sure the whole experience is in our control. And especially when we do the franchise model, uh, it's basically like a Cafe X crossover, now the brand or with the location partner. So it's technically still under our control and management. Great. Great. Chad, what would it take for a firm like yours to do a Series A in a company like Well, I mean, a lot of it would come down to capital efficiency for us. And you know, I, I would I would recommend you really do explore that um, that franchise model, especially if you know it takes half an hour to take care of each machine. You're going to want, and you're going to want thousands of these out there. You're going to want thousands of people doing that work for you, and you're not going to want to hire all those people and have them work for you directly. Um, also, people can probably put up the capital to buy their own machine, and that saves you a lot of uh, you know investment you're going to have to raise. Um, but I'd want to see just how the first you know, five machines work out there, and are, are people buying a lot of coffee, or are they using the app, do they love it? Is there a, a you know, a, a revolt for any reason, or do they, you know, get addicted to it? No pun intended. Sar, so what would it take for a firm like yours to do a Series A in Cafe X? You know, I, I tend to be product oriented. There's been coffee machines for a long time. You know, this is sort of the coffee machine reinvented for more complicated coffees. So, I guess to me, it would be the value proposition of actually tasting the coffee, seeing consumers react and love it, 
I still would love to know a little bit. My impression, at least when, the reason I wait in line is, you know, I want, I want the product, so okay. I want it fresh. Are you espresso, cappuccino? What do you drink, cortado, latte? I'm actually a tea guy, but okay. for, you guys, for you guys, I'll do coffee. <laughs> All right, boys, well done. Why don't we um, bring a couple of cappuccinos and espressos up for them to taste, okay? Yeah, sure. All right, get to work.